September 12th, the Feast of the Holy Name of Mary. This feast was established by Pope Innocent XI in the year 1683, so that the faithful may in a particular manner recommend to God on this day, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin, the necessities of his church, and return him thanks for his gracious protection and numberless mercies. What gave occasion to the institution of this feast was the desire of all Christendom for a solemn thanksgiving which would commemorate the deliverance of Vienna, obtained through the intercession of Our Lady when the city was besieged by the Turks in the year 1683. An army of over 500,000 invaders had reached the city walls and was threatening all of Europe. John Sobieski, King of Poland, came with a much smaller army to assist the besieged city during the octave of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin and made ready for a great battle. Early on the morning of September 12th, having himself served at Mass, the King knelt and entrusted himself and his army to the Virgin Mary employing her blessings upon himself and his troops for her assistance in the upcoming conflict. Then rising from his knees, the northern lion, as he was called by the Turks, said aloud, Let us now march to the enemy with an entire confidence in the protection of heaven under the assured patronage of the Blessed Virgin. And charging upon the enemy, they defeated and routed the Muslims completely. The Turkish forces were overwhelmed and Vienna was saved under the banner of Mary Most Holy. In commemoration of this glorious victory over the Muslims, and in thanksgiving to God and honor to Our Lady for their aid, Pope Innocent XI extended the feast of the Holy Name of Mary to the Universal Church that same year although the feast was originally celebrated on september fifteenth in the year nineteen eleven saint pope pius x decreed that it be celebrated on september twelfth if we like the christians of europe in the seventeenth century desire to appease by our prayers the divine anger which our sins have justly provoked we must join the tears of sincere compunction to a perfect conversion of our habits the first grace we should beg of god is that he will dispose us to maintain at all times a spirit of worthily penance adding to the invocation of jesus it is a pious and wholesome practice to join our recourse to the blessed virgin that through her intercession we may more readily obtain the effects of our petition for this reason devout souls with great affection and confidence honor the hearts and invoke the holy names of Jesus and Mary.